Hello and welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial. We're gonna have a look at uh, physical animations because um, it's hard to find an up-to-date tutorial and uh, I had to figure it out and I was really annoyed that I couldn't find anything that works out of the box. So um, this is gonna be a quick tutorial just about the essentials and I hope I can help you and that you can make it work faster than I have. Than I did. Okay, so let's see. The first thing uh, you'll do, you'll have to do is um, just go to your third-person BP folder, open the third-person character blueprint, and um, over up here, top left, add component and add physical animation. Then you make a event begin play drag this out and just uh, set skeletal mesh component and choose the physical animation one and then the physical animation from up here it's already connected to it um, in this one you're gonna need the mesh from up here, just drag it in there. Then uh, next is uh, the apply physical animation settings below. Just pick this one so that the physical animation is already connected. Um, then what you see here is um, you need a body name, that's the bone that you want the animation to be in. Let's see if we go to our mannequin uh, mesh, go to the physics asset, just look in here. Um, don't choose the root. Uh, if you want everything in here to be um, a physical animation, just choose the pelvis. It's gonna um, pick everything that's below the pelvis to be physically animated. So you could type it in here or you can just add a variable, and call it bone for example, change it to name and um, just compile this real quick. Uh, then you can change the default value to pelvis. Drag it in here, get bone, and just connect it. Then you're gonna need the physical animation data. Just drag this out here. The easiest thing would be just make physical animation data. Then you can expand this. And I'll just put some values in here that worked for me just fine. Um, it's all trial and error. If you want your own style of physical animation, of course, you can change these. And you're gonna need a set all bodies simulate physics. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Wait, sorry. Below simulate physics is the one. It already connects your mesh because I chose the mesh option. And over here you can see the in bone name again. It should be the same that like as before. Let's drag this in here. Maybe like this. And uh, tick new simulate and untick include self. Um, if you try this, it's gonna still not work entirely. So you're gonna have to open the capsule component up here on the top left. Then go down to collision and change the collision presets to ignore only pawn. And go to your mesh to collision as well. And choose Pawn. Okay. Um, then just save it and 
Let's see if it works. It works, yes. The uh, feet are spinning away a bit too much. You can also um, put in here the max linear force, something like this. Yeah, it's even more derpier now. Just try out the uh, values in here. And eventually you're gonna get what you need. No, 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 let's leave this on 8,800, 8,800. <laughs> Looks okay. I mean, it's really derpy now. Let's see if we have like interaction with the environment. If we jump here and you can see, yeah, he's like a drunk guy in a bar. Or in a club. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you want to support me, just leave like a like or something like that. Or subscribe if you want to. Uh, or have a look at my asset. It's the Physics Collision Sound Asset on the Asset Store. The link is below. It helps you adding sounds to objects in a really quick way. And it's made for everyone. It's not hard to use. It's really easy. Okay, bye.